Dr. Singer, I recently saw a documentary and they talked about Denmark's decision to ban antibiotics for growth promotion in their livestock and they said that this had basically solved their antibiotic resistance problem in the country. Is that an accurate portrayal of what the outcome was of their ban? Actually, that's a really misleading characterization of the situation. Um, Denmark and other European countries took the precautionary approach of eliminating all growth promoters in the late 90s and into the early 2000s with the idea that it would solve the antibiotic resistance problem. What we've actually observed over time, however, is that resistance to some antibiotics in some bacteria has decreased in animal populations and in the human community. But against the critically important antibiotics that are used in human medicine, resistance in pathogens that cause disease to humans has actually increased. So it's not fair to make a general statement that the resistance problem has been solved through this one uh, ban. In fact, there have been some major unintended consequences that have had repercussions on human health. So after they removed these antibiotics for growth promotion, what happened in agriculture? What was the impact? When they removed these antibiotics, what they saw was an increase in illness in animals, diseases that had been under control, likely due to the use of the growth-promoting antibiotics. These data are fairly clear if you look at the reports out of Denmark in their DanMap uh, reports, DanMap surveillance system. What you'll see is as the growth promoters were being phased out, there was a steady increase in the use of, of antibiotics for treatment of illness, increases as high as over 200%. And that was, again, due to the fact that they were seeing a much greater increase in our incidence of these illnesses that had been preventable when the growth promoters were still in use. So how has Denmark's decision benefited food safety and the public health? You know, this is, again, a very confusing message out of Europe in general and includes Denmark. The program, when it started, the, the banning of the growth promoters was intended to have a major public health impact, improving health outcomes, reducing the amount of antibiotic resistance in human infections. What has been observed and well documented is a decrease in resistance to some antibiotics and some bacteria in the human community. So what's generally circulating in the human, uh, in the human community. But within the hospitals itself, there really has been no documented public health improvement, human health improvement. And uh, in fact, the rates of of uh, disease caused by certain resistant organisms, take the methicillin resistant Staph aureus, have continued to increase. Uh, and so it appears that the human health benefit, at least from a hospital perspective, is negligible. So what do you tell consumers who think that Denmark is just the model? Uh, is that an accurate description? We have plenty of consumer choice in this country. If the consumer feels that having no antibiotics used to raise their animals is, is better for their health, then they have organic and antibiotic free choices. But they also need to understand that our meat supply, which is raised with antibiotics, for now with, with the growth promoting antibiotics, and in three years it'll be without the growth promoting antibiotics, is an incredibly nutritious, wholesome, and um, safe food source.